This pill has been at the center of controversy around the world for more than two decades. RU486, known as the abortion pill, helps women terminate pregnancies without surgery. And it's finally been approved for use in Canada. I think it's going to improve access for many women. It will be marketed here as Mifigimiso. The drug stops the production of the hormone progesterone needed to support a pregnancy. Health Canada says it's approving its use for up to 49 days into a pregnancy and doctors who want to prescribe it will need training. Pro-life groups say they're going to fight the decision. We will petition Health Minister Rana Ambrose to revoke the decision um, to approve this drug. But today, the federal health minister who voted to reopen the abortion debate a few years ago says she's not getting involved. The decision is does not rest with me. It's out of my hands and the decision is final. Pro-choice advocates hope the pill increases women's access to abortions, especially in places such as PEI where there are no clinics. Being able to access uh, this type of procedure that doesn't require surgery um, is just a safer uh, way for women. The approval of Mifigai Miso took two and a half years after its British manufacturer applied to Health Canada. France and China were the first to approve the abortion pill in 1988. The UK and Sweden soon followed. By 2000, it was available in the US and Russia. It's now available in 60 countries, including Italy, Tajikistan and Mongolia. And the World Health Organization has long had it on its list of essential medicine. So why did it take 27 years to become available here? Canada is a relatively small market. And the process of getting a drug, drug application is, as you've seen, uh, lengthy and costly. Doctors say the pill doesn't replace surgical abortions. It will be just another option available to women and will be on the market by next year. Marissa Dragani, CBC News, Toronto.